Oh, I do have some good news. Where is it? I do have some good news. Uh, uh, the squatter is now gone. Oh, really? Got rid of the squatter. Yes. Oh, you got, got the, rid of the squatter. Open. Yeah. Let me. Uh, yeah. Let me go on ahead and get out of this. Yeah. Talk about that. Got rid of the squatter. The squatter is now gone. So Did he put up a fight. No. Well, there, we're going to we go to court on the seventeenth, and then um, apparently, as what I've been told is that this person has outstanding warrants in Ohio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when this person shows up in court, I'm going to remind the judge that this person has outstanding warrants in Ohio, and the Oops. bailiff is going to grab this person and take him back to the back room. Plus, he owes you back rent. Uh, what now? He owes you back rent for not paying rent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and they're going to have to pay the back rent, too. Mm -hmm. $1,500 minimum, plus late fees. Yep. So, yeah. So, it equals they're... around 2000 two Pretty close to 2000 should be, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's going to be good. It's going to be nice, man. It's going to be really, really nice. Now, how much damage did they do to the trailer? Oh, um, they haven't yet. They threatened arson, though. So uh, that's going to not look very well on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't threaten to burn down my property in front of witnesses, dude. No, no, no. You, know, you don't do that shit. That's so were stupid. you there when he got out? Huh? Were you there with the sheriff when he got out? When the sheriff, the, all the sheriff did was, was give him the, you know, summons to go to court. That's all. Okay. And then we go to court and then we, the sheriff goes out and removes them. If you they don't the keys remove, back or? Huh? You have the keys back? Not yet. Like I said, nothing's happened yet. We got to go to court on the seventeenth. When we go to court on the seventeenth, then everything will happen. This, now this frees up that home for um, you know some renters that are actually going to go in there, pay rent, fix up the place, make it look nice, and everything. It's going to be mm -hmm. beautiful. Everything's going to be nice. It has fancy stained glass uh, cabinets in the kitchen, like what I make for Fallout Four. Only this, these are real. <laughs> so you know they paid big bucks for them kitchen cabinets, man. Because stained glass is not cheap, folks. It's expensive as fuck. So you know, I'm going to get some renters in there that will actually love that building and care for it and take care of it, fix it up, and uh, actually yeah, pay like, rent. A discount, like for the first month that they clean it I'm, up. I'm helping them out on the, I'm helping them out a little bit on the rent, yeah. I'm giving them a chance to get in there, get settled, make some repairs. You know, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, you know, because yeah, nobody helped me when I got started. Nobody. Nobody helped me when I got started. Then after so, that, charge them full rent. Well, that's what I do. That's what I'm doing. And, um, you know, they're going to, they're you know, I'm going to help them out at first. And then, then they'll have to pay full rent. But they already know that and they agreed to it. They don't have a problem with it. And so everything's going to be, uh, everything's going to be great, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome, you know. Getting renters that actually pay. And then I was talking to my first renter uh, today. He said he's got somebody for the building next to it. So hopefully we can get that rented out as well. And so everything, you know, everything's starting to fill up. Then I've got this empty field out here that I can put several modular homes on if necessary. I got this plot over here under the shade trees uh, that's kind of off to itself that I can put something up. So, um, you know. I've got lots of options open to me, and we'll we'll start getting everything squared away, and and uh, hopefully everything will be just fine. But everything's turning around now, man. Yeah, like the good. gods, like the gods said it would. Now, when is the uh, court date for that? Seventeenth. Seventeenth. Okay. Yeah, this month. Seventeenth. I think it's seventeenth. Let me see. Well, at least it's not months down the line. July the seventeenth, yeah. July the seventeenth. So, all right, sweet, got it. Got it. Um, folks, this is what happens when you don't pay your rent. Okay, mm -hmm. gotta pay that rent, man. Gotta pay up. That's the way it goes. Pay up or get up. And then you gotta pay it. You gotta pay your rent, man. So you can't. You can't sit there and 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 think you're gonna get away with shit. Okay. What the Frosts were trying to do by not having the renters pay rent is they were trying to bankrupt the estate. Mm -hmm. And then they were going to go in and pick up the estate for a song. Well, that didn't turn out 
the way they intended now, did it? <laughs> the gods had other plans. And so now we're getting rid of the situation with the frosts and and uh, everything is falling right into place, just like the God said it would. Everything's going to be just fine. And then, um, you know, with income coming in, I can go back to family court and say, hey, I'm doing really, really well now. And um, there's no reason my kids can stay, need to stay gone. And, the, you know, the people that have the children have already said they have no problem with the kids going back home. So that works out really good. So we should we should see how things are going, but it looks like you know now it looks be a like week from today. Yeah, I think it is actually. I don't so know if that's that exactly. Morning, is it exactly a week from today? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because today's Wednesday, so yeah, it would be exactly a week from today then. Okay, well, is it in the morning or p.m.? It's in the morning. Oh, okay, that's good. Court is court is always in the morning. I mean, there's there's court in the afternoons. But the afternoon uh, slots are usually for convicted criminals and shit like that. And, you know, that has nothing to do with me. I'm not in that bag anymore. <laughs> I traded uh, in my guns for magic. Yeah, I think um, not paying rent is considered a misdemeanor. Yeah, it's a misdemeanor. It's not a felony. Yeah, you're not going to see any prison time, but you yeah. you do owe back rent. But you you do owe you do owe money, and the court will make you pay that money guaranteed. Yeah. Well, I, you know, then if you don't pay it, then you might see it. But it's yeah, then if you don't pay the money, then you go to jail because then you're in contempt of court. Um, but uh, but yeah, the, you know, fifteen fifteen hundred dollars back rent plus you know whatever fees the court lays on you, because the court the court can throw the book at this person, especially if they've got outstanding warrants in Ohio. Uh, the court's liable to throw the book at this person and say, hey, look, man. <laughs> You're a fugitive from the law. Uh, plus, you've you've uh, uh, refused to pay this man his money, and you've threatened uh, to burn his building down, which is arson, which is a felony. I believe that arson is a felony. I'm pretty damn sure of it. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, this person is in deep shit, and um, couldn't happen to a nicer person. I mean, the neighbors said that uh, this individual was belligerent with them. The neighbors, mind you, was belligerent with the neighbors. Mm -hmm. um, very argumentative. Um, probably loud and annoying. Probably loud and annoying. Disturbing Drunk the peace. The well, disturbing the peace is a misdemeanor, but I mean, it's still, I mean, it's still going to get the cops called, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, this person is done. They stick a fork in them. They are done. There's no coming back for this one. And um, truth be known, this person was probably probably uh, put there by the frost. You never know. Um, well, you never know. That's just it. Yeah, you never know. We'll we'll find out though. Yeah, it won't come out in court. On the estates. Well, it'll probably come out in court mm -hmm. because um, you know. A judge may ask her if you have, you know, if she had any affiliation with the frost. And if she says yes, ooh, then that'll be real interesting now, won't it? 